Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear about the Air Force of any country? Airplanes, helicopters, maybe some drones, right? What do you imagine when you hear the United States Air Force? Probably the same thing. But what if I told you that the United States has gone much further? What if I told you that they've been using airplanes that can fly like helicopters and helicopters that can fly like airplanes for a long time now? So in this video, we will talk about the unique global development of the V-280 Valor and its predecessor, the V-22 Osprey. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The V-280 Valor has become instrumental in future long-range attack aircraft programs of the U.S. Army. It became a keystone unifying effort within the highly ambitious Future Vertical Lift Initiative, envisioned to meet the fast-growing need for a new breed of rotocraft capable to transcend limitations posed by traditional helicopters. Over the course of more than 40 years, the Black Hawk has become the most prized asset, with a growing understanding that the rigors of 21st century warfare were seriously in need of a platform much more sophisticated and able to function within a threatening and very diverse environment. Among the aircraft competing for this prime position, there were two, Bell V-280 Valor and Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant. The contract was won by the V-280 in demonstrating superiority in speed, range, and payload, with Defiant being more maneuverable and heavily built. Possibly the most exciting feature that the V-280 Valor could provide is the revolutionary tilt-rotor technology, perfectly conjoining the strengths of both helicopters and airplanes. However, the rotor blades of a V-280 can uniquely tilt forward, enabling it to move directly into fast horizontal flight from a vertical takeoff position. A design as unique as Valor's allows great versatility in taking off and landing vertically into very compact spaces, much like a helicopter does, then whisking it up into the skies at remarkable speeds. Not surprisingly, these design features have a number of truly spectacular benefits. The V-280 can travel over unprepared ground, like, say, dense forests and towns without regular runways, in helicopter mode. Once the rotors have shifted forward, the Valor attains a cruise velocity of 323 miles per hour, or 520 kilometers per hour, and a phenomenally high speed of 345 miles per hour, or 556 kilometers per hour, over twice as fast as the maximum speed of the Black Hawk. Flying at those incredible velocities gives the V-280 an exceptional edge in moving troops and equipment over distances more extended than ever thought possible, in the shortest time needed to make it an immensely crucial part of missions that every minute indeed counts. The V-280 has some pretty phenomenal range. It can fly as far as 920 miles or 1,480 kilometers on one mission, much more than double the Black Hawk combat radius of about 373 miles or 600 kilometers. This stretched range goes a long way towards alleviating those logistical headaches that so often muddy lengthy operations with speedier troop landings, cargo deliveries, or evacuations deep in hostile or very remote environments. This therefore provides very important on missions that might require operations beyond enemy lines, where speed and endurance are very significant towards mission accomplishment. The versatility of the V-280 extends far beyond mere speed and range. Capable of carrying up to 14 fully equipped soldiers, surpassing the Black Hawk's capacity of 12, it can also transport an impressive 4.5 tons of cargo. This unique capability renders it not only perfect for troop transport, but also exceptionally suited for logistics resupply missions within combat zones. Large open side doors also allow the load on and off to meet the fast response demand for any fluidity in the battlefield. In addition, the aircraft can be adapted for a medical evacuation mission, which cements the position as a genuine multi-role airframe for at least a few other roles from an assault operation. The most peculiar feature of Valor is probably its ability to launch missiles and drones while in flight. This further extends its potential capabilities. Due to that unique feature, the aircraft can switch between transport and strike missions very effectively, without reverting to helicopter mode. V-280 
Future variants of Valor will include the most advanced sensor arrays and electronic warfare systems, among a host of other advanced technologies, which means Valor is going to be not just a vehicle, but a combat capability. The introduction of the V-280 means more than replacing that aging fleet. It represents a shift in the character of military operations. Black Hawk and AH-64 Apache helicopters have been central elements in many military operations over the past few decades in both troop movement and airborne assault close air support capacities. However, their performance will be perennially hobbled by the Saurian limitations inherent in their lack of speed, range, and payload. The V-280 overcomes these limitations, allowing far quicker and more effective countering against new forms of threats. Be of best use in modern conflict because of the ability to rapidly deploy troops to the rear of an adversary, conduct precision fires, and provide logistic support in the most adverse conditions. And therein, the V-280 perhaps represented something more surprising, a shared heritage of development with the V-22 Osprey, another tilt-rotor aircraft that has been in service for many years within the United States military. The Osprey has worked, but had trouble in its development process due to some setbacks, steep production costs, and mechanical complications. After solving most of the issues in the V-22 program, Bell Textron implemented them perfectly and produced the V-280, a sleek and slim aircraft that behaves like an airplane. One of the main improvements about the tilting of the rotors. Just that. Among the selling points that set Osprey apart is the fact that its rotors and wings can be folded in in as little as one and a half minutes, shrinking its incredible 84.6 foot long wingspan down to 18.3 feet. This, therefore, makes it appropriate for the naval operations where space is limited. The V-22, despite being enormous, is 57.4 feet long in size, similar to a Black Hawk helicopter, and falls between the Black Hawk and CH-53 Super Stallion in height. Amazing indeed is the V-22 Osprey with its entry to service starting in the 2000s, mainly operated by the U.S. Marine Corps, Navy, and Air Force. Its airframe is larger and heavier than that of the V-280, having a maximum vertical takeoff weight of 23.8 tons, or 52,600 pounds, having the capacity to carry as many as 32 personnel, or 24 with full equipment, with a payload capacity of 9 tons, 20,000 pounds internally, or 5.7 tons, or 12,500 pounds externally. The ideal utilization for the Osprey is the movement of troops, vehicles, and equipment into areas without traditional airstrips. Military vehicles that may be transported include the M1161 Growler. The V-22 Advanced Electric Remote Controlled System provides unobtrusive transitions from helicopter to airplane mode and vice versa, with minimum pilot interference. In the cockpit, five displays of information are cleverly arranged. One reveals the images obtained from external cameras. With the ability for in-flight refueling, it boasts a range of 1,011 miles, or 1,627 kilometers, and can conduct long-range transport missions while performing an assortment of operations, including medical evacuation, amphibious assaults, and a host of other amphibious-related tasks. As for connecting gimbal in the V-22 Osprey, it means that at the point where rotors are mounted, it connects both the engines on either side of the aircraft, such that if one stopped working, both of the rotors would stay in working action. In case one engine fails, the working one is able to drive both rotors, thus giving Osprey the ability to continue safe flight. That is an important feature for a tilt rotor airplane, just like in the V-22. This capability maintains mission flexibility that enables Osprey operations even when the aircraft may be under mechanical strain. This ensures the hover of the aircraft, performing rescues or even landing in war zones without much fear. The system is quite critical, especially in its use by medical evacuating and landing airborne assaults where anything not reliable or safe enough can lead to great losses. Another feature that makes the V-22 acquire its elite status, or one of the most versatile and reliable aircraft serving in any army today, is the gimbal. Conceptually, though the V-280 Valor is comparatively smaller, swifter, and agile in the flight domain, designed primarily for the U.S. Army's future long-range attack aircraft program, it was to be a tactical maneuver deployed in an efficient, fast manner on battlefields that went by the adage, speed. What is there instead is a more efficient tilt rotor system relative to the Osprey. 
with rotors of its own tilting independently from the engines, making it lighter and easier to maintain. Further, from the technological perspective, the V280 is less expensive. Its fuselage and wings are light but very strong carbon fiber composites applied to shave off much needed production and maintenance while retaining high performance. They are in their nature much more powerful than conventional metals, but lighter, with an easier production process that will allow their production quickly and cheaply. The price of the V280 would be comparative with existing helicopters, such as the Black Hawk, and so an upgrade that would fit in the budget of armed forces. The V280 Valor is going to be that game changer in the US Army's fleet, a character that, with respect to the military operations in which they engage, is going to be paradigm shifting. It will give unparalleled speed, extensive reach, and versatility to make troop deployments quicker, responses faster in times of crisis, and logistic support improved. It is heralded that functionalities of this type of aircraft will mean something far beyond the simple reach of immediate tactical benefits to the shaping of general strategy in modern combat as the US military gears to introduce the Valor into its repertoire of war machines. What are your thoughts on the V280 Valor? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.